Let's hit the diamond now for some high school baseball. Finally, some high school baseball action we love this it. week. We're going to start things in Butler. East side hosting Wayne Trace. Top one, Raiders trying to get the stick started early. Kyle Forer lines a base knock in the left center. That's going to put runners at the corners, but East side would get themselves out of the jam. Tyler Head. It's a hot shot to the left side, but it's fielded by Braden Bats. Blazers get out of trouble. Bottom one, it's the Raiders' turn to try and get out of the tight spot. Two on, Tucker Antoine gets the punch out to end the inning, keeps the game scoreless. Bottom two, though, East Side would finally strike. Noah Aquaviva lining a base knock into right field. A throwing error back to the infield, moves runners up to second and third. And the very next batter, ball goes to the backstop here. Jacob McLean going to come on in, touch home, gives east side the lead, and hey, that's all the Blazers need. They pick up the dub today, one nothing in a tight one in the final. What a game. Well, let's head down to West Lafayette, Huntington, North visiting McCuffton tonight. Bottom three, Vikes in trouble. Jack Ecker gets Jake Winger to fly out to center field and they escape an early jam, but they would keep only the Mavs off the scoreboard for so long though. Bottom four, Winger back up, he flies out to center again, but that's deep enough for a run to tag and score from third. And yeah, they didn't stop there. It's bottom five, a blast here to the right field fence, and he's going to play a pair more. The Mavs pick up the win today. Huntington North falls nine to zip. Staying at the Diamond, South Adams hosting Belmont in their season home opener today. South Adams already with a 1-0 lead in the first here with two outs. Corey Lennington looks to add to it. He gets the knock to right field. It finds green grass, and the Starfires also get the slick slide here into third, but the Braves stall their momentum and keep it one zip. To the second we go now. The Braves looking to get on the board, and it's Gavin Cole here with a little bunting action and things start to heat up for Belmont here. Next up, Jack Scheinman is his name up to the play. He sends one up high to left field and hey, it works. He gets the sacrifice fly and the Braves nod it all up. And now it's the senior, Deslin Lee. He fires this one right over the pitcher and the Starfires try to make the grab but it bounces off the second base bag. Good enough to get on base though and another runner make it on home. Belmont takes the lead in the end And hey, speaking of Belmont, Braves softball team also in action tonight. They're visiting Garrett. Top three already tune up in Braves, and uh, they're looking for some more. Two on, but Garrett gets out of some trouble. Bianca Bisham snags the fly ball and right. That's going to end the inning. Bottom half of the frame, it's Belmont's turn to get out of some trouble. Runner in scoring position, but Liz Bobe snares the short pop-up. Keeps Garrett off the scoreboard, and the Belmont offense would go to work after that. Top six, Carissa Mickley hits a grounder to the left side. Plate at the plate is late. That plate's a run. Another run would come on in off of a throwing error. You can make it 4 nothing Belmont, and then next batter, Mickley can take her time coming on in. A wild pitch allows her to touch home, make it 6 nothing Belmont. They put up a bunch more in the seventh. Braves win this one. 14-0 your final.